Hello everyone, welcome to Biomedical Engineers TV. I hope you are enjoying and learning about medical devices on our channel. If you like our videos, do hit that subscribe button and like the videos. In this medical equipment series video, we will look into anesthesia machines. In this part, we will look into an introduction to the anesthesia machine. What is the anesthesia machine and types of anesthesia machines? Let's begin with an introduction to the anesthesia machines. The original concept of the continuous flow machines was popularized by Boyle's anesthetic machine, invented by the British anesthetist Henry Boyle at St. Bartholomew's Hospital in London, United Kingdom in 1917, although similar machines had been used in France and in the United Kingdom. Prior to this time, anesthesiologists often carried all their equipment with them, but the development of heavy, bulky cylinder storage and increasingly elaborate airway equipment meant that this was no longer practical for most circumstances. Contemporary anesthetic machines are sometimes still referred to metonymously as Boyle's machine and are usually mounted on anti-static wheels for convenient transportation. Many of the early innovations in anesthetic equipment in the United States, including the closed-circuit carbon dioxide absorber, also known as the Goodell Forager Midget, and diffusion of such equipment to anesthesiologists within the United States can be attributed to Richard von Foraker and the Foraker Company. Let's look into typical anesthesia machine components. A modern anesthetic machine includes at minimum the following components. Connections to piped oxygen, medical air, and nitrous oxide from a wall supply in the healthcare facility, or reserve gas cylinders of oxygen, air, and nitrous oxide attached via a pin index safety system yoke with a Bodox seal. Pressure gauges, regulators, and pop-off valves to monitor gas pressure throughout the system and protect the machine components and patient from excessive rises. Flow meters such as rotameters for oxygen, air, and nitrous oxide. Vaporizers to provide accurate dosage control when using volatile anesthetic a high-flow oxygen flush which bypasses the flow meters and vaporizers to provide pure oxygen at 30 to 75 liters per minute. Systems for monitoring the gases being administered to and exhaled by the patient, including an oxygen failure warning device. Systems for monitoring the patient's heart rate, ECG, blood pressure, and oxygen saturation may be incorporated in some cases with additional options for monitoring end tidal carbon dioxide and temperature. Breathing systems are also typically incorporated, including a manual of reservoir bag for ventilation in combination with an adjustable pressure limiting valve, as well as an integrated mechanical ventilator to accurately ventilate the patient during anesthesia. Anesthetic machines are distinct from anesthesia carts, which hold various adjuncts for anesthesia such as intravenous medications, syringes, needles, and other items of equipment that the healthcare worker providing anesthesia might need. In dentistry, a simplified version of the anesthetic machine, without a ventilator or anesthetic vaporizer, is referred to as a relative analgesia machine. Let's look into types of anesthesia machines. Let's begin with the portable anesthesia machine. The portable anesthesia machine is engineered to be lightweight, portable, versatile, and easy to operate. The vaporizer accurately and quickly controls the concentration of inhaled anesthetic drugs, carbon dioxide, anesthetic gas, and other gas analysis. This type of anesthesia machines are used in veterinary hospitals for the easy movement from one place to another. The second is conventional anesthesia machines. This type of machine is fixed in operation theaters or in induction rooms. They are used mostly in operation theaters, cath labs, and induction rooms. This type of machine can be moved from one place to another in a hospital. Third is pendant mount anesthesia machines. This type of machine is used in operation theaters or induction rooms where space is compromised. This type of machine is mounted on a pendant hanging above the ground, which can also help in cleaning the floor easily. Fourth is MRI-compatible anesthesia machine. MRI anesthesia to be administered in the MR room to support patient safety and comfort. It has the unique ability to withstand up to 1,000 Gauss and is 3.0 Tesla approved. 
tests with leading MRI scanner suppliers have confirmed that MRI diagnostic images are not affected by operating the anesthesia system and that the anesthesia system is not affected by the MRI in operation. This saves time and space and allows the operator to respond more quickly to patient needs. I hope you liked the introduction of anesthesia machines. In the next part, we will look into breathing systems, vaporizers, and scavenging systems in the anesthesia machine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next part of the video.